Our world teems with life, much of it unseen by the naked eye. Among them, some interact with humankind, occasionally causing illness. One such virus is the human metapneumovirus, often referred to simply as HMPV. Its discovery opened a new chapter in understanding the causes of coughs, colds, and more serious lung conditions that affect millions annually. The story of HMPV's discovery begins not so long ago. Imagine the scene. It is the turn of the millennium. Doctors and scientists around the world frequently encounter patients, especially children, with respiratory illnesses. Yet, for a notable portion of these cases, standard tests for known viruses like influenza or respiratory syncytial virus, RSV, come back negative. This medical mystery puzzled researchers. The breakthrough came from the Netherlands, a land renowned for its meticulous scientific inquiry. In 2001, a team of Dutch virologists embarked on a quest. Using advanced molecular techniques, they began their search. Their patience and sophisticated methods were about to yield a significant reward for medical science. They found genetic fingerprints that did not match any previously catalogued human virus. This was the first glimpse of HMPV, a moment of quiet triumph in the laboratory. Once isolated and characterized, this newfound virus was given its name, human metapneumovirus. It was classified as belonging to the Paramyxoviridae family. Its discovery provided an explanation for a significant number of respiratory illnesses that had previously baffled medical professionals. To truly understand human metapneumovirus, we must first consider what a virus is. Viruses are incredibly small infectious agents, far smaller than bacteria. HMPV, like many viruses that cause respiratory illness, is an RNA virus. It possesses an outer fatty layer called an envelope, studded with proteins. These proteins are crucial, acting like keys that allow the virus to unlock and enter our cells. HMPV shares its viral lineage with other significant pathogens. Its closest well-known relative is the respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV. Both belong to the Pneumovirini subfamily within the larger Paramyxoviridae family. Despite their familial ties, they are distinct entities. Each has its own unique genetic makeup and subtle differences in how it interacts with the human immune system. Scientists have identified at least two major genetic groups, or lineages, of HMPV, designated A and B. Within these groups, there are further subdivisions, known as subtypes. These subtypes can circulate simultaneously in human populations, or one might become more dominant in a particular season or region. Once it enters the respiratory tract, often through inhaled droplets, it seeks out susceptible cells lining our airways. Using its surface proteins, it attaches to a host cell and injects its RNA genome. The host cell's own machinery is then hijacked, forced to replicate the viral RNA and produce viral proteins. These new viral legions then go on to infect neighboring cells, continuing the cycle of infection. The human metapneumovirus primarily spreads through respiratory droplets. When an infected individual coughs or sneezes, they release a fine mist of these tiny, virus-laden particles into the surrounding environment. If these droplets are inhaled by a nearby person, the virus can then find its way into their respiratory system. Close personal contact is another significant pathway for HMPV transmission. This can involve direct physical touch with someone who is infected. HMPV can also linger on surfaces, turning everyday objects into temporary reservoirs for infection. These contaminated surfaces are known as fomites. Understanding these patterns helps public health officials anticipate outbreaks and prepare resources. Once the HMPV has successfully entered the body, there's an incubation period. For HMPV, this period typically ranges from three to six days. 
the onset of illness is often quite similar to that of a common cold. An infected person might initially feel a general sense of being unwell. The most common symptoms of HMPV infection are familiar to anyone who has experienced a respiratory ailment. A persistent cough is very characteristic. Nasal congestion or a stuffy nose along with a runny nose is also frequently reported. Many individuals will develop a fever. A sore throat often accompanies these other symptoms. While many HMPV infections remain in the upper airways and cause relatively mild illness, the virus can sometimes descend deeper into the lungs. In such cases, it can lead to more severe conditions like bronchitis or pneumonia. Co-infections can occur, leading to more severe symptoms and a more complicated recovery. Among those who face the greatest risk from human metapneumovirus are the very young. Infants and toddlers, particularly those under the age of two, have immune systems that are still learning and developing. For these little ones, an HMPV infection can readily progress from a simple cold to more severe conditions like bronchiolitis or pneumonia. At the other end of the age spectrum, older adults also find themselves more vulnerable to the effects of HMPV. As we age, our immune systems naturally become less robust. Individuals whose immune systems are weakened for other reasons also face an elevated risk from HMPV. This includes people who have undergone organ transplants and are taking immunosuppressive drugs. Finally, people with chronic lung conditions are particularly susceptible to severe HMPV infections. For these individuals, the virus adds an extra burden to already compromised respiratory systems. Diagnosing human metapneumovirus infection based on symptoms alone presents a considerable challenge. The signs of HMPV are virtually indistinguishable from those caused by a host of other common respiratory viruses. Therefore, a doctor cannot definitively say a patient has HMPV simply by observing their symptoms. The gold standard for accurately identifying HMPV infection is through sophisticated laboratory tests. The most widely used and reliable method is the reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction, commonly known as RT-PCR. This molecular technique is incredibly sensitive and specific. It works by detecting the virus's unique genetic material, its RNA, in a respiratory sample. Obtaining an accurate diagnosis of HMPV can be particularly important in certain situations. Accurate diagnosis contributes to a better understanding of HMPV's epidemiology, tracking its circulation patterns and its true burden on public health systems. Currently, there is no specific vaccine available to protect against human metapneumovirus. This is an area of active research. In the absence of a vaccine, the primary strategies for guarding against HMPV infection revolve around good old-fashioned hygiene practices. Thorough and frequent hand washing with soap and water for at least 20 seconds is paramount. It is also crucial to practice good respiratory etiquette. Another key preventive measure is to avoid close contact with individuals who are sick with respiratory symptoms. Regularly cleaning and disinfecting frequently touched surfaces in the home and workplace can also help. When an HMPV infection does occur, treatment is primarily supportive. This includes getting plenty of rest, staying well hydrated and using over-the-counter medications to manage fever and pain. For more severe cases, hospitalization may be necessary. Human metapneumovirus is a truly global virus. Since its initial discovery in the Netherlands, surveillance and research have confirmed its presence in populations all around the world. Studies suggest that by the age of five, most children will have been infected with HMPV at least once. The burden of HMPV on healthcare systems worldwide is considerable. It contributes to a significant number of doctor visits, emergency room consultations, and hospital admissions each year. The scientific community continues its dedicated efforts 
to better understand and combat HMPV. Research is ongoing on multiple fronts. The quest for effective HMPV vaccines remains a high priority. Looking to the future, continued surveillance of HMPV is essential. The story of human metapneumovirus is a compelling reminder of the dynamic and ever-evolving relationship between humankind and the microbial world.